Two on one at BYU Spring Football. Bessie, I walked into the indoor practice facility and the first impression I got from one of the coaches was, hey, things are good and we've got an offense. Uh, why do you feel like uh, things are progressing so nicely for the BYU offense? I just think um, guys are starting to get confident. Um, fortunately, we had several weeks of just a kind of walkthrough tempo where we were able to get the guys comfortable with verbiage and all the shifts and formations, and that's kind of where the kinks you know, were, were, were um, ironed out there. Now that we're able to... Um, to put some pads on. There was a little bit of, uh, of a lag for the first couple of practices because now you have a body in front of you, right? And you got to focus on technique. So with, with a couple of practices going by and, and then kind of, you know, dusting, you know, brushing the dust off with, with uh, you know, ba banging helmets, the guys have really come into their own now. And so I think there's this, this energy and this confidence and we're starting to see what we could be. We still have a long ways to go, but I think there's been some great signs of progress. Talk about your group in particular, the wide receivers. What do you like from your group so far? Um, today, today specifically was the best day I've seen in a long time um, of any of my position groups and just fight and effort. And that's the number one thing I want. And so to me, that's a great sign. There's still so many things we need to um, polish up technique wise. Um, but effort is, is, is the thing I'm super pleased with. And so I'm, I'm really happy with the, the, the energy and the effort these guys bring to practice every day. Um, there's, there's a skill set there, but like I said, we still need to refine some things technique wise. I spoke with a couple of you guys and they said, look, the goal every day is to try and embarrass the other guy across from you. And we embarrass <laughs> some guys today. Are you yeah. cool with that? I'm cool with it. Um, it's if, if it goes both ways, that's where I'm cool with it. Because if you just embarrass, embarrass the defense all day, uh, you're worried about what your defense is, right? If you get embarrassed as the offense every single day, you're, you're, you're going to be embarrassed about your, your production potentially, right? And so as long as there's some give and take every day, that's a good sign of, of a team that competes and goes back and forth. So I'm fine. I'm fine with uh, other people getting embarrassed, <laughs> not our position group, though. So. Balance is good sometimes, Balance right? Is good, yes, exactly. Um, who reminds you of you out there as a former wide receiver yourself? The one that doesn't play at all, so uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, um, that's a hard question. Stylistically, is there somebody? Stylistically, um, the one I wish I was like is Aleva. Aleva was a lot like me, um, a slot receiver, or I should say I, I wish I played a little bit more like him, but he's kind of the one. He's, he's, he's got some quickness to him. He's got a good feel for the game, um, but maybe that's a bad thing, too, because I'm extra hard on him. So. <laughs> A lot has been said about uh, the culture change and the culture shift that uh, the BYU coaches are trying to implement for the team this year. From the time that you have gotten here as an assistant to now uh, a week or so into spring ball, what have you noticed about that culture shift? Uh, players are um, expecting to be held accountable. Um, and that's not to say, you know, what, whatever's happened, but we as a coaching staff put a premium on. Anytime we feel something's being done that is not going to be pleasing, it's got to stop right there right now. And we're not going to wait for time to go by. we, we got to get on it right away, whether it's calling the guy, um, whether it's calling him in to meet, meet in our office, whatever it is. And I think the players are starting to get a sense of, you know what, um, some things that – our whole life we may have been able to get away with we're not going to get away with you know and so um fortunately they're all buying in and the guys who don't are going to weed themselves out but i don't think we've had to deal with any of that you know recently so what's the experience like going from being an offensive coordinator worrying about the entire offense to worrying about a specific position group uh, wide receivers in this game it's kept me um it's made me have to be real focused because i find myself um almost teaching the wideouts about protections and and where to s slide the protection to and safety rotation i'm like hold on no this is quarterback stuff right <laughs> these guys don't care about that they don't need to know <laughs> what the o-line is doing right here and so it's really made me hone in on just the wide receiver play um which is which is a huge passion of mine right it's what i played and i love it and so it's it's brought me back home and made me just able to focus on all those just small intricacies of the wide receiver position so i've loved every minute of it it was a change just because i was used to just seeing everything and having to manage and now I can just focus on my guys and my position and it's been fun. How much can you tell us about the new style of the BYU offense? Um, I can tell you that uh, it is extremely um, extremely uh, multiple. Um, there's, uh, there's a ton of shots. You're going to see some explosive offense, I think. You're going to see some smash mouth football. You're going to see some, some flair. You know what I mean? I, I, I just think 
everything you see in a good offense out there, I think you're going to see a glimpse of that in ours. And and some people hang their hat on one thing, whether it's no huddle or whether it's wing T, triple option, whatever it is. We like to hang our hat on being able to do so many things, so many different ways. Well, Corbin Kafusi said that when he found out that Jeff Grimes was going to be the offensive coordinator coming from LSU, he said, also, oh, they're going to confuse the crap out of us. <laughs> yeah, but Jeff Grimes has done a great job at taking what he really loved at LSU um, and, and implementing that here, but allowing everyone else to bring in what's made them successful. Right? And I think that's why we're all so invested and excited as coaches and as players because there's a bit of each of us in this offense, and it starts with him being able to manage these conversations about who we want to be and how we're going to operate in the offense. And so it's been, it's been a great learning experience for me on, on how to kind of put an offense together. So he's done a great job. There have been a few coaches, I can't remember if you're one of them, I'll ask you now, but uh, that have said, you know what, we don't really want to watch much of, of last year's film. Um, it, it, and you just want to, I guess, gauge what you can see out here. Is that? Yeah, I, I was one of those guys, but not to a point where it was just, I don't lay a single eye on film. I did watch things just from a personnel standpoint. Um, but a lot of times you don't know what, 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 um, standards these guys you know are upheld to and what what their expectations were and and you know whatever it is and so I just looked at it just strictly from a s s uh, skill set mm -hmm. right and if this guy fast what's his strong suit and all that stuff so I didn't watch a ton of film I was one of those guys who just want to see what they can do yeah. and I'm starting to figure that out who, who those guys are so what is the strong suit of your position group what do they do best um, like I said I think it's fight and effort I've been okay. really pleased with just with with their willingness to fight through fatigue and 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 when things get tired they're still trying to fight through and so technique i told them if i if you if you guys make a mistake technique wise i can work with that but we better be smart we better know our offense exactly what we're doing our assignment and we better give effort in every single thing we do my job is to continue to work with that technique and so that's what i've been pleased with i think that's the strong suit right now is smart guys so who are working hard all right the other coach satake <laughs> Or should, or should we, we say, want to call him the other or should one? we say the number one coach to tackle? <laughs> when, when, when Kalani's not around, you can call me that. <laughs> when he's with me, then you can call him that. I'll just have my fingers crossed. We'll keep that between us. So. All right. Coach, thanks so much. Thanks.